Hi there, this is Tim Gramlin, pastor at the Olivet Church of Ventura, coming to you once again with another topic, a topic related to life, living, and ultimately understanding God better. And this topic that I'd like to engage now is a question, how do I know Jesus is real? This is a particularly important topic because on it rests the entire belief system of Christians worldwide. It all centers on Jesus. Is he real? This is an interesting question. And over the years, I've found different ways that people approach it. Some approach it based on their personal encounter with Jesus. Something they describe as beyond a feeling, something beyond an emotion. I know he's real because I can feel him in my soul, the song says. And that's certainly one approach. I wanted to take a different approach today and to talk with you about another way we can know that Jesus is real. Jesus himself recognizing that when he walked on the earth, he lived a particular period of time and yet had a message that he wanted to last well beyond his time on the earth established a very interesting oral and written tradition about himself. He talked about a written tradition that came from prophets who had been on the earth long before him and wrote down aspects of his life that helped to confirm who he was on the earth and who he is in eternity. And then there was a group of disciples around him you may remember there were 12 of them that walked with him and talked with him. And certainly there were many more than just those 12. But those 12 in particular gave a level of experience with him. We refer to as eyewitness testimony to see that, yes, he was and is real. Yet Jesus seemed to understand in his time that there would be questions that much later after he had left the earth and after his disciples had left the earth, there would still be questions. Was he really here? Did he really do what he said? Was he really who he claimed to be? The Son of God. Well, to this end, Jesus prayed a prayer. And in this prayer, later in his ministry on the earth, he made a very interesting statement. He said, I'm praying as he prayed to God. Not just for these who have believed me now, but I'm praying for those who will believe just based on their word, their testimony, if you will. Why would Jesus pray in this way? It seems clear that he understood that there is a leap of faith we all must take. But it's different based on how and when we encounter him. Those prophets who lived before Jesus came, had a leap of faith of their own to believe God would do something by sending a Messiah, a special person to the earth, his only son. Those who lived with Jesus on the earth had a different leap of faith, for he made these claims that the prophecies were about him and that he fulfilled them. A fantastic claim to make and as we read and see on the accounts of that time a claim that not even people who saw him at the time all believed he performed miracles and did things that we can explain but that we can't really understand did things that modern science agrees were possible but that modern science can't explain why they happened in that sequence at that time. Yet, even then, some had trouble believing. Jesus knew all of this, and he understood that those who would come after he left the earth would have our own leap of faith to make. A leap of faith to believe the prophecies were true, and that he actually did what he said he would do that he actually lived like the prophecy said he would live, and that he actually is the Son of God. 
a different leap of faith than the prophets who had to look forward, a different leap of faith than the disciples and others who had to make sense of Jesus in real time. Our challenge is different. We have much more information, yet we still have a challenge to come to a conclusion for ourselves. Is Jesus real? There's lots of evidence. But ultimately, as with any set of evidence, it comes down to what we believe, what we choose to believe. We know there is a funny thing that happens with all of us, which is we can literally see something and still not believe it. Yet we have in Jesus more than just someone we can see. We have prophecies, we have testimonies, and then we even have experiences from those of us who know Jesus now. My prayer for you is that as you consider all of these things, you'll be able to come to a conclusion for yourself. Jesus is real.